Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really really big haul that I'm very excited about. Also I have a little giveaway because I wanted to share some of the things that I have got with you. So stay tuned till the end to see what's in the giveaway but I think I can show you a tiny tiny sneak peek like a tiny one. Yeah, that's all I'm going to show you for now but stay till the end of the haul and I will explain the giveaway. So basically this haul has products from a lot of different brands. They're all from USA. Some are drugstore brands while few are a little bit more high end. Quite some miscellaneous things right from skincare to some makeup to lots of hair products. You might be wondering how I have products from USA with me because I did not visit there recently and that is because I have this really awesome aunt who lives there and she has just promised me that she will carry as much stuff as I send her and so I order stuff online from the Sephora website from amazon.com etc and order it to her place and she very kindly brings it for me although a few of the things here she has bought for me herself so I didn't know that I would be getting them but most of the things I knew what I was getting first I'm going to show you what I've got from Benefit which is one of their newest mascaras and it is the Roller Lash Mascara. So basically the claim of this mascara is that you don't have to use an eyelash curler and this itself will curl your eyelashes very nicely and it gives you a curl that stays. This is what the mascara tube itself looks like which I think is really cute. I didn't really know or whether I was going to like this mascara or not because I saw some positive reviews, some negative reviews, whatever. But I think it does a really amazing job. I don't use an eyelash curler when I use this. And uh, it just does like really thicken, separate and lift my lashes. And it stays very well. Although it's not waterproof. So it comes off reasonably well too. And I like it. Only one thing that I've found is while applying this because I have rather long lashes I find that it just uh, because of the design of the brush it does come on the top lid and it comes on the bottom lid and a lot of mascara mess but I thought I'd just mention that other than that it's a very strong mascara and I'm very happy that I have it I also have a mini of the same mascara that I got with it and I really like this because this just has all the benefits of the full size tube but you can carry this with you anywhere easily uh, a lot of times I carry all of my makeup with me in my clutch just because I put my makeup in the cup and uh, it's just nice to carry something so small next I have one skincare item from Clinique's it's the dramatically different moisturizing gel so this is supposed to be one of the best moisturizers for oily skin which I do have most of the year. Clinique is also really suitable for sensitive skin and anything like that. I haven't started using this yet. I haven't even tried it but heard really good things. So yeah, I do think that this bottle is really nice. It feels really good. It's hard plastic and it's got a little pump here which will make things hygienic and easy. Next, I have some things from Batiste or basically I could even say one thing from Batiste. Whichever way you look at it. Batiste is most famous for their dry shampoo and it is my holy grail dry shampoo. I've tried so many other different brands while some of them have been just okay, some of them have been disappointing but nothing matches up to Batiste and I go through quite a lot of this just because uh, ever since my hair was colored especially I have to use dry shampoo a little more because I have an oily scalp and uh, you want to use dry shampoo when your hair is colored because you want to minimize the amount of times that you have to wash it because with each and every wash red hair does bleed and that's really sad so you want to be able to lengthen the color as much as you can by not washing all that often and that's where dry shampoo comes in so you guys have seen this before because I've shown it in some of my older videos it is the Batiste dry shampoo clean and classic original fragrance they do have some fancy fragrances also but since I really liked uh, the original one, it smelled nice, I decided to stick to it. can that I have is I think all but over so I ordered some more. I have two cans with me and this one says voted number one dry shampoo. I totally agree with that. This, this is really awesome. And for when I'm traveling or just to keep in my day to day bag, I wanted to get some mini dry shampoos because 
I don't really have to explain that, right? I mean, it's all the goodness of Batiste in a nice small container. So I bought a few minis, uh, same fragrance, so nothing more to report there really. But I have three of these, which I'm going to take while I'm traveling and I'm going to keep it in my purse and it's going to be awesome. I'm getting really, really excited about dry shampoos. But guys, if you haven't used one of these or you won't realize how life changing it is, pretty awesome. Here is some stuff that I didn't really know I was going to be getting. Um, this is from Herbal Essences, which is a very well known hair care brand. It's the Herbal Essences Naked Range. Uh, these are mini shampoo and conditioners. And this is cute. I like how this has this little thing that you can hang it on. So this is their Naked Range, which says it's 0% parabens and silicones. And it's a moisture shampoo, which is also hydrating. So that sounds really nice. I haven't looked up any reviews of these. I would be curious too, neither have I tried them. And another thing from the same range, here it is. This is another dry shampoo because I really can't have enough dry shampoo, right? So this is a full size of their dry shampoo. Again, it has zero parabens or colorants and it apparently has tapioca in it. Like the same thing that is in boba. Uh, you guys know boba, which is this awesome little like iced drink you can have it in iced tea iced coffee and you get these beads at the bottom chewy beads those are made of tapioca now we get to the last of the hair products so i really like a l'oreal's elnet satin hairspray and it's the only hairspray that i use because it's really good i try to avoid using hairspray because it's not the best for your hair but when i curl my hair i do have to use it or the curls are not going to even last 10 minutes and Elnet is really nice because it doesn't leave much residue, it gives good hold and it smells pretty pleasant. It doesn't feel bad when you touch your hair. Like, I put some here a little bit because my flicks were getting out of control. It, it, it doesn't feel too stiff. It, it does feel a little stiff obviously but not that bad. I ordered one of these Elnet Satin Hairspray Minis and this one is the extra strong hold one. And I just used it, it works just like normal Elnet, but it's really small. It is only 64.2 grams, which is a weird, odd number. But um, yeah, this is really nice and handy when I don't want to be taking the big spray bottle everywhere because the big spray bottle is like, it's like this big, this long, and this is tiny. Now we're going to another skincare product and this one is a very famous cult drugstore product. It is the St. Ives Apricot Scrub and I've heard so much about this scrub. It's supposed to be really good for acne prone skin. I haven't tried it out yet but uh, it is a blemish control scrub and it has oil free salicylic acid acne medication. It doesn't have any sulfates or parabens either and it has natural exfoliants. I've just heard so much about it that I can't wait to try it. I am interested to know if this stuff will really work, especially since I have oily acne prone skin but also really sensitive. I have a lip balm here and this is from some brand called Soft Lips. Uh, it is a cube lip balm and it has sunscreen in it. It kind of reminds me obviously, it reminds everyone of the EOS lip balms. I guess they've sort of basically copied that style. It says it has vanilla bean and this is a new look. I haven't tried this yet obviously because it's still sealed. But I'm going to open it up right now. Because I wanted to show you guys the packaging but I can't wait any longer. Yeah, this is what the lip balm itself looks like. Oh, it looks really nice. <laughs> and uh, let me see. Okay, so you just unscrew it. And this is what's inside. This smells nice. It does smell like vanilla, sort of like a vanilla cupcake or something. More than just plain vanilla. It's a very amusing, odd shape for a lip balm. And since it's all like outside, I would be nervous that I would break this off in some way. But I'm gonna be careful with it. And I've been wearing matte lipsticks these last few days and staying in like a really harsh AC environment. So my lips are kind of feeling the damage. And I don't mind trying it right now because I'm wearing a matte lipstick so I'm just going to put it on top maybe it'll, it'll start looking glossy my lipstick but let me try that really smells so nice feels nice too I think it would be a nice 
lip balm to use on a daily basis for most of the year because most of the year we don't need really heavy lip balms here like I do like using the Nuke's Revdemil but only in winter because that's when my lips really need extra hydration but on a daily basis just for maintaining my lips and making sure they don't crack and all I think this is going to be quite good Next, I have a bunch of stuff from Tweezerman and everybody knows of Tweezerman, I guess they are like the most famous brand in tweezers and they also make a lot of other nice products like the eyelash curler that I always use called the Pro Curl is made by Tweezerman and it's a really nice brand. So they did send me a few products to review which I was really really excited about. So I'm going to show you everything that I've got. I've tried some of the products, I haven't tried some yet. So I'm sure that I'll do more detailed reviews later but here I'll just show you everything and wherever I can provide first impressions I will. So they sent me three brushes from their makeup brush line. So this one is called the finishing contour which sounds really useful because of its tapered shape and um, I haven't tried this one yet though but I'm sure I'll be able to use it because I do do a light powder contour like almost daily. Next up is this a small little brush that is also kind of tapered and this is line glider so I'm assuming this is for gel liner I don't really use gel liner that much anymore but I'm sure I can find some purpose for this it's on the thicker side so I don't think you'd be able to get a very thin precise line with this but um, in for days that you want to go thicker with your liner like today I have pretty thick liner I think this will be good and this third brush is called the contour concealer brush and I already tried using this today just when I was putting on my makeup and I was very excited because this is the kind of brush that I wouldn't normally think that I would need but now that I have it I see how useful it can be uh, because this is also tapered and it's got this small like surface area so this is really good when you want to kind of put concealer in hard to reach places like as I mentioned earlier when I tried on my new mascara I had finished all of my makeup and my base and everything and the mascara kind of came down here also there were dots and on the top there were dots and so I wiped some of it and I just didn't want to take off all my eye makeup and start again so I just used some concealer and the normal makeup brushes from Real Techniques that I have these are the brushes that I use like every single day for my face this one for concealer, this one for powder. So they were not reaching in that area obviously without messing up my mascara. And then I just remembered that I had this and decided to try it out. And the design makes it really easy to just kind of get in those little corners that normal brushes can't get in and spread concealer. Like I was able to kind of go under uh, my lash line and also not mess up my lashes which were curled downwards and apply the concealer so this will be very good for precise applications of concealer it's not completely your everyday makeup brush but I think it's still indispensable in your kit and I was just mentioning how the mascara kind of got messed up today and so I think that in the future that won't happen because of this so this is the Tweezer Man mascara guard no more smudges or touch-ups for use on upper and lower lashes etc so basically um, I haven't opened this yet and it kind of looks like it would be difficult to open so I'm going to open it later but you just hold this underneath your eye like here and just apply mascara and makes it very easy. This is something that I haven't tried but again I'm looking forward to trying it because I'm sure it will make my life very much easier. So now for the biggest bunch of things that Tweezerman sent me. So they sent me this little like a sort of a brush wrap I guess I'm not really sure what to call it wow oops so it's just basically this cloth wrap with the Tweezerman name embroidered here and you can wrap everything and tie it up and now I'm going to show you what's inside so almost everything in here is sort of brow related and how cool is it to have this kit to make sure your brows are always on point Tweezerman is most famous for their tweezers so there are four different tweezers and tweezers in here and I forget the names of every single tweezer but there is like this tapered pointy one and there's a 
completely thin pointed one which looks really dangerous <laughs> you have to be careful with that this is a cute little printed mini tweezer and I think this is just their standard sort of slightly tapered tweezer they all look so nice and these are definitely the best tweezers that I've owned in my life and now the only challenge is going to be not losing them but yeah very very pleased with them there's also a spoolie brush in here which is really useful when you're applying eyebrow product to kind of brush through your eyebrows to give it a natural look there's this other product like a makeup product from them and it's called eye enhance it's like a pun it's like eye and enhance it's a brow definer and highlighter duo so i haven't used the brow definer side yet which is I'm assuming just um, brow wax. It is dark brown and that would be exactly good for my eyebrows. But I did try the highlighter today and uh, it's a nice really creamy pencil. I have used it under both of my brows and I also use some in my inner eye area. I, I don't think that you can see it exactly but I did find a difference and I felt that it enhanced my look. It's a nice so sort of creamy champagne color that would go on every skin tone there's also a little tweezer here if you want to do some quick uh, kind of brow grooming and just kind of chop off the hair that has grown too long and this whole kit is really useful for me because i don't get my brows done anymore i just groom them and fix them up myself so this this is going to be the bomb here are two little folding thingies from <laughs> tweezer man and i'm going to tell you exactly what they are this is the Tweezerman eyelash comb and um, this is what it looks like. Sometimes mascaras can clump your lashes like if there's too much product on the brush it kind of clumps your lashes together. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to apply your mascara as normal and when it's still wet comb through with this and I know it looks really dangerous because it's got pointy metal teeth but you have to be careful you can do that. Just go from the base towards the outside and it will give you like more fuller looking lashes because they'll have spread out and they won't clump together. I have something very similar or rather pretty identical from Sephora brand that I have bought last year and I do use. So I have another one of these and it's from Suisa Men. Secondly, uh, this is an eyebrow razor and it's just useful for uh, even if you've done your eyebrow but there is some hair that you can't get to you can just shave it with this i don't really intend to use this but it's a nice concept i guess and it's got a little like a fluffy brow brush also at the end the next thing in here is something that has also really excited me quite a lot and i've used it quite a lot in the last couple of days it is this tweezerman thing i'm not sure what it's called really but um i've seen stuff like this available online this is just something that can help you thread any facial hair you have at home so these are the handles and this is the spring and uh, you sort of put it wherever you want like say on your upper lip like here i'm not really doing it i'm just giving you an idea of how it's done you put it here touch it to your skin and just turn uh, these two things in the direction indicated there are little arrows that show you how to turn it so i'm turning it like outwards like this both sides and the spring coils up it tightens and that kind of and that kind of just pulls off all of the little hair that you may have on your upper lip area and even on the brow area like i can use it on my brows but uh, just in the central area that's what i do anyway you you can't precisely shape your brows but if you have like a mono brow in the middle like me you can just remove all the hair and it catches really tiny hair and it's quite easy to remove it it doesn't even hurt that much it hurts a little but kind of like treading only and this is pretty useful i know a lot of brands make these and i haven't tried any of those but this is the first one i tried from tweezerman and i think it works really well i've been using the brown face epilator to remove all my upper lip hair I think that also works really well but this is even handier because it's smaller it doesn't need a battery so again this is something that I will certainly be taking on my travels with me uh, is just a nice small little useful thing it is a little sharpener which I'm assuming goes very well with this it's quite a chubby sharpener 
any chubby pencils that you have it will work with them the design of the sharpener is such like i don't know how to explain it but when you look in here it will also work with thinner pencils so that is really useful and this is made in germany and if it's like all the other things in this tweezerman kit i'm sure that it'll be very sharp <laughs> need to be careful around it the very last thing in this haul is this jergens instant sun self tanning mousse and um, basically these kind of products are i think very popular in the us and uk and all they just to kind of uh, tan and give you some color and it's so weird how these products are really popular there like really really popular and in india we are all obsessed with fairness creams fairness creams for your face and for men and for your back and god alone knows what i've always wanted one of these uh, sunless tanning products just because whenever i kind of go to sunny beach areas and i want to wear like beachy clothes i find that uh, obviously my face gets tanned quite a lot in mumbai so do my lower arms they get tanned but the rest of my body like my upper arms most of my legs my torso etc because it doesn't get tanned it's significantly paler and it looks it looks weird i think tanned legs look very nice and uh, i've always wanted one of these tanning products to try out it apparently this can last for even up to a week and the color is deep bronze so i'm sure that it go really nicely with my skin tone so now it's time for the giveaway that i promised you at the beginning of this video so i decided to share a few of the things that i bought with you i'm giving away three products first it is this real techniques makeup brush I really like the brand Real Techniques. I've talked about them so many times before. I use their brushes every single day and I've made two haul videos just with Real Techniques brushes. So you can imagine how much I like them. And this is from their new Bold Metals line and it's reflecting a lot. I don't know how clearly you can see, but this is a lovely silver metallic eye brush. It is the 201 pointed crease brush. It looks really nice. It says it's densely packed, tapered bristles, apply eye shadow for a smoky effect. The next thing that I'm giving away is Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara Mini. So, when I bought the mascara, I got two of these. So, I'm not going to mix them up. This is mine. And this is another unused one, of course. So, here. So, I'm giving away one of these and I'm sure that you will love this mascara as much as I do. This is a really handy mini one, great for purses and travel and whatever. And staying on the theme of mini, the final item that I'm giving away is from Batiste and it is this trio of mini dry shampoos. This is the Wild Party Trio and um, I just really like the look of these because <laughs> they just look so bright and fun. There is one sassy and striking mamba, one sassy and daring wild and one extrovert and bold savanna but uh, there are three different fragrances and they will definitely work just as well as all batis dry shampoos work so if you've been wanting to try batis dry shampoo you will get this cute little trio which also comes in a pouch that you can use for whatever this giveaway is open internationally and will end a month from now one person will get all three of these products to be in the running to win it you need to be a subscriber to this channel and you also need to follow me on instagram after you subscribe to this channel and have done the instagram thing just leave me a comment saying that you have and also leave me your instagram handle so that is about it i'll repeat the giveaway rules in the description box in case you're confused thanks again for watching this video and good luck